This bar graph represents the number of scoops of ice cream sold from the month of May to September. In the month of May, just over 50 scoops of ice cream was sold, while there was an increment in sales during June with about 130 scoops of ice cream sold. July experienced the most number of ice cream sales with about 340 scoops. In August 200 and September 50 scoops were sold, thus there was a decline in sales, probably because the beginning of winter. In conclusion, July was the most profitable, while September was the least profitable month for this company. This image represents the natural water cycle. At first, water gets evaporated due to heat from the solar radiation. The water vapor rises in the sky and condensation occurs to form clouds. The clouds move due to wind currents in the sky. When the clouds come in the proximity of mountains, precipitation occurs in the form of snow. Due to solar radiation the snow melts, and the melted water flows down towards the water reservoir, to repeat the cycle. In conclusion, this natural cycle is the reason for all life on Earth. This line graph represents the number of passengers traveling at London Underground Station from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. At 6 a.m. in the morning there is no rush with only about 100 passengers. In the following hours the number of passengers traveling rises to 400 at 8 a.m., which is the peak hour. The number of people traveling fluctuates until it attains the lowest number at 4 p.m., before rising dramatically to around 400 people. The number drops back to its lowest between 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. In conclusion, the two peaks represent the employees traveling to and from their work.
This bar chart represents the deforestation per square kilometer in the world from year 1980 to 2007. During 1980, about 2 million square kilometer land was logged. In the next five years additional 1 million square kilometers was cleared off the trees. In years 1991, 2000, and year 2007, approximately 2 million square kilometers of land was deforested. In conclusion, the rate at which the land was deforested was incremental, which is not very promising for a better future. This image represents the structure of a hydroelectric dam. There is a water reservoir at one side of a dam where it is stored. The water is taken in from the intake, and through the penstock it leads to the turbine and rotates it. The turbine is connected to the generator where electricity is generated. The powerhouse where the generator is located also has power lines to distribute the electricity through the long distances. The water that comes out of the turbine is released in the river. In conclusion, this renewable source of energy seems to be very lucrative and efficient, which enlightens our daily life. This bar chart represents the student's favorite color. The survey included responses from 25 students. About 23 students responded that their favorite color is red, while 15 stated that they like blue color. About 10 stated that they fancy green, and 5 for black color. Least number of students liked pink color. In conclusion, it is clear that red is the most favorite color, and pink is the least selected color by students of the survey.
This bar graph represents the reasons for study according to the age of students. About 80 students under age 26 chose studying to develop their career, while only 10 are doing it because studying is their interest. There are equal number of students in age group of 40 to 49 who chose studying as a hobby and as a career. On the other hand, students over the of age 49 prefer studying because it is their interest. In conclusion, younger students study for making their career and older students study because it makes them happy. This graph represents the average rainfall measured in inches for four major cities in the United States. The city of New York had the highest average rainfall with 47.25 inches, followed by Dallas with 33.70 inches. Honolulu saw average of 22.02 inches of rainfall while the least amount of rainfall was seen recorded in Phoenix at 7.66 inches. In conclusion, New York City was the wettest with the highest average rainfall, while Phoenix was the driest city with the lowest average rainfall. This image represents the world regions with their favorite sports. It is clear in the first glance that football is the most widely played sports in the world, followed by ice hockey, American football, table tennis, and cricket. Football is played in South America, Africa, Europe, Russia, and Asia. While cricket is favorite in India, Pakistan, and Australia. In China, people like to play table tennis. In conclusion, most popular game is football while least popular gaming activity is skiing and archery.
This graph compares the total sales and cost of sales for the company during year 2004. The departments taken into consideration are groceries, toys, cars, hardware, and electronics. The highest total sales and cost of sales was for cars, followed by electronics. For groceries, hardware, and toys the sales figures were under 4 million. In conclusion, the car production department is the most profitable while the toy making department is the least profitable for this company. This graph represents the proportion of trips made by different modes of transport in Sydney during year 2004. The highest trips were made using own vehicle at 72%. About 17% people chose to walk to their destination. Train, bus, and ferry was used by 10% of the people and the least number of people used other modes of transport not mentioned in this graph. In conclusion, Using own vehicle to commute is the most popular means of transport and other means is the least favorite mode of transport among the residents of Sydney. This graph represents the product sales figures in a year. In January the sales figures were the highest with over $80,000 worth of product sales, while in the following months the sales figure drops dramatically. In the month of June the sales figure touches the bottom with just $13,000 product sales before bouncing back again. From the month of July the sales figure rises again, in November it attains the height of the second quarter at $72,000. In conclusion, the company has made the highest profits during the beginning and the end of the year while mid-year sales figures were less promising.
This graph compares various shopping methods based on consumer satisfaction levels. The data is based on 500 responses received in terms of positive, negative or neutral. Highest positive response was given when the shopping was done privately by friend or family, which is closely followed by local shopping. Supermarket and internet shopping comes third and fourth. Highest negative feedback was given for internet shopping followed by supermarket shopping. In conclusion, private shopping by friend and family was the number one choice while internet shopping was the least favorite shopping method. This chart compares the employment statistics in Fredonia among men and women in six sectors during year 1975. Men were employed more in numbers than women in all six sectors with largest gap in employment disparity was seen in manufacturing and banking sectors. The least number of women were employed by defense sector while the highest were employed by non-defense sector. In communications sector almost equal number of men and women were employed. In conclusion, during year 1975, more men were employed than women in Fredonia. This line graph compares the changes in consumption of whole milk and low-fat milk in the United States between years 1950 to 2000. In year 1950, whole milk was the most favorite among the consumers with over 120 liters milk was consumed per year while low-fat milk was consumed less than 20 liters per person per year. The whole milk consumption declined while low-fat milk consumption increased dramatically. By year 2000, Low-fat milk was consumed 60 liters while whole milk was consumed only about 30 liters per person per year. In conclusion, overall milk consumption slumped and low-fat milk became more popular among the residents of the USA.
This line graph represents the annual average water levels at Lake Michigan or Lake Huron from year 1988 to 2006. During year 1988 the water level was 176.6 meters, which fell to 176.3 meters in year 1990. Subsequently the water level rose and attained a peak of 177 meters in year 1997 before falling dramatically to the lowest of 175.7 meters in years 2000 to 2003. In conclusion, the highest level of water was observed in year 1997 and lowest level in year 2003. This pie chart represents Kara's budget. Kara expects to spend about half of her money on her room rent. The food will cost her 20% followed by clothing at 15%. About 10% of her budget is allocated for entertainment and 5% for other unspecified expenses. In conclusion, rent covers the most while entertainment and other expenses covers the least portion of Kara's budget. The bar chart compares how many Olympic medals won by 12 countries in the world. The USA tops the chart with highest number of gold, silver, and bronze medals with about 2,300 total medals. It is followed by the Soviet Union with 1,000 medals. The UK and France were managed to make about 700 and 600 medals respectively. The lowest numbers of medals were made by Japan and China with less than 400 medals. In conclusion, investment in professional sports is probably the reason for impressive achievement by the United States in the Olympics.
This line graph compares the percentage of unemployment between ages 16 to 24 and overall population in London and rest of the England from year 1993 to 2012. The highest unemployment was for age groups 16 to 24 in London and in rest of the England with 25% and 20% respectively in year 2012. The overall unemployment rate in London and in the rest of the England was less than 10% in year 2012. In conclusion, there was a decline in overall unemployment, while rise in unemployment in age groups of 16 to 24 over the period given. This image represents the process of producing electricity at home using solar panels. First of all, the solar panels trap the sun rays and convert it into DC current. Secondly, the inverter, located inside the house converts DC into AC current and controls the electricity production. Thirdly, the electrical panels distribute the electricity throughout the home. In the last two stages, the utility grid and meter control the flow of electricity to and fro from the grid post. In conclusion, this system seems to be very efficient and lucrative in producing renewable energy. This image represents an existing floor plan and proposed changes to an apartment. A typical unit consists of a kitchen, a hall, and a living room. In the proposed changes, the internal wall separating living room from hall is removed and the position of internal doors is also changed to the opposite side. New plan also consists of kitchen furniture. In conclusion, under the new plan this apartment looks much more spacious, however, the concealed storage under the storage will not available for the residents.
The diagrams compare two different methods of defense for homes which are at risk of being flooded. The first diagram shows how a stop bank acts as a flood barrier to stop river water from flooding homes. The stop bank is a small mound of land next to the river that is higher than the 100-year flood level and prevents the river from bursting its banks. When there is no stop bank, as shown in the second diagram, there will be nothing to stop the river from flooding. In this case, the solution is to put buildings on stilts. The height of the stilts is measured so that the floor of the house is 300 mm above the 100-year flood level. This measurement is called the freeboard. This pie chart represents car ownership statistics in Canada. The majority of population possesses at least one car. One quarter of the total population owned two cars, while very small number of car owners stated that they have three or more cars. About 20% of the population does not possess any four-wheelers. In conclusion, although 80% of the population were managed to have a car, Still a significant number of people are without a proper family vehicle. The line graph compares three companies in terms of their waste output between the years 2000 and 2015. In 2000, Company A produced 12 tons of waste, while Companies B and C produced around 8 tons and 4 tons of waste material respectively. Over the following five years, the waste output of Companies B and C rose by around 2 tons, but the figure for Company A fell by approximately 1 ton. In conclusion, while companies A and B saw waste output fall over the 15-year period, the amount of waste produced by company C increased considerably.
the bar chart compares the number of incidents and injuries for every 100 million passenger miles traveled on five different types of public transport in 2002. Rail services experienced fewer problems. The number of incidents on light rail trains equaled the figure recorded for buses, but there were significantly fewer injuries, at only 39. Heavy rail services saw lower numbers of such events than light rail services, but commuter rail passengers were even less likely to experience problems. In conclusion, the most incidents and injuries took place on demand response vehicles. By contrast, commuter rail services recorded by far the lowest figures. The table compares the output of waste produced by six different countries in 1980, 1990, and 2000 in million tons. In 1980, US produced 131 million tons of waste material, while the figures for Japan stood at 28 million tons. By 2000, in US production of waste had risen to 192 million tons while Japan's figures had risen to 53 million tons. The lowest amount of waste was produced by Ireland and Portugal. In conclusion, the figures for almost all of the countries contributing to the output of waste material had risen over the 20-year period. The bar graph represents the revenue collected in billions of dollars by sales of mobile phone games, online games, console games, and handheld games in China from year 2000 to 2006. In year 2000, only console games and handheld games were available for sales with less than $12 billion of sales revenue. Online games and mobile phone games were originated in year 2001 and 2 respectively. The popularity of handheld games increased continuously, while console games declined in popularity. In conclusion, although online and mobile phone games were growing in their popularity, the handheld games were still the most popular in year 2006.
This image represents a typical scene of a beach. It shows a cloudy day of one beautiful evening. A boy in the picture is building a sand fort while the girl is bringing water in a bucket, which will probably be used for the construction of the fort. There are few other kids playing with a ball on the right side of the picture. In the background, there is a man standing with his son in the shallow water and they are watching a fishing boat in the ocean. In conclusion, the picture shows the scenery of a typical beach and the painter has done a great job drawing this image. This graph represents the climate at Beckside Farm in Cumbria. The temperature ranges from 2 to 15 degrees Celsius, while the rainfall ranges from 60 mm in February and April to about 150 mm in November. It seems that winter months are from November to February and summer period is from June to the end of August. It rains all year round with varying amount of precipitation. However, the average precipitation is 60 to 100 mm with the maximum of 150 at the year end. In conclusion, it is a cold region with plenty of rain throughout the year. This bar graph represents the favorite sport for children. It seems that swimming is most like sports with total of 25 children. The second most preferred sport is cricket with 20 kids. About 15 children stated that they like soccer while 10 children fancy martial arts. Skating is the least favorite sport with just about 7 kids. In conclusion, swimming is the most favored and skating is the least selected sport by children in this survey.